Hello all and welcome to another episode of Three Random Packs and this is Season 3, Episode 7 of Three Random Packs and just in case you're new to it, here's how it works. Down in next to me, box of trading cards and stickers. They're all different in there. No two are the same. What happens is, is I pull one out at a time without looking at random completely. And then when I pull the pack out random, I'll analyse the pack, have a good look at the pack to see what's got to offer, to see if there's anything rare or common available in it. Then after that, obviously, we'll open the pack, have a bit of fun with the pack, have a look at the cards and analyse those and take the mick out of them if they deserve it. Now, what I must do from all of the packs, all three of them, is pick a favourite from the pack and when I pick the favorite from the pack I'll line up against the wall of Mega Drive games until I have three at the end of the episode and then with the three favorites from each pack I must pick a favorite from those three a champion of the episode which will then go forward towards a champion of champions video at the end of the year so with all that said and done let's have the right hand disappear into the box we're going to give it a shuffle and our very first pack of episode seven will be the right way round for a change, and it's Maverick, and we've got a dude on the front here holding up a set of cards, perhaps he's playing a game of poker, and he's trying to, well, he's keeping a very poker face there, because he doesn't actually seem to have any eyes, no need for sunglasses then, look for, well he can't, look for randomly packed technochrome cards, technochrome is kind of spelt with a K and a C, what's that all about? Don't quite understand that. I hope it's obvious if we get one of these Technochrome cards. Uh, any blurb on the back about rare and uncommon stuff? Or try, let's buy a binder for whatever you do. I had that round, way around to start with. Collect all 60 Maverick cards. It's quite hard to see that, actually. That. Uh, collect all six Maverick trading cards and keep... The, here we go. Look at that. Buy one of these. Buy one of these binders because... That's what we need to make more money out of you from. Uh, I, do you know what? I, don't, uh, you know, I was about to say, I don't know what Maverick is, but it says on the front, Maverick the movie. Never seen it, never heard of it. They are cards, and it's spelt the cool way with a Z at the end as well. Right, so with all that said and done, let's have a look at these bad boys. Get the scissors out. They're on standby. Professional amateur that I am. Right, we're in. We're in. Right, let's now split the back. There we go. There's Maverick the movie. Again, telling us it's a movie. Because I didn't know it was a movie. The answer to that question on the back is mobile. It's kind of ruined it before we've even read the question. Upon meeting Zane Cooper, Annabelle Bransford mentions that she is from a prominent southern city. What was the name of this city? Answer mobile. Right. Oh, I'm guessing you, they're to ask somebody else because that's not very, yeah, not very discreet and uh, giving you a chance. There. We, oh, look, it's Mel Gibson. Hands on his hips. There we go. Didn't even know Mel was in this film. But there he goes, looking very, very smart. Hands on the hips, looking very unimpressed with something that somebody's just done. Oh, God, that next car looks grim. Right, Brett, card number one. Look at that. Sonia Technochrome cards. I've got card number one. There we go, look. Profession, gambler, slash adventurer. A bit, bit of both, eh? Right, strengths, his charm, wit, and quick draw with a gun. Maybe because he's a maverick. And to the right card. Right, there we go, weaknesses. Attractive women. Oh, Christ. Bit of a ladies' man, are we, maverick, slash male? Uh, what women want? Wasn't he in that as well? He can hear their thoughts. Got no chances. Have your ladies. There we go. Right, um... Yeah, okay, that's all right, but uh, I'm a bit disturbed by the next car. I just kind of want to move on. Man with the red T-shirt, is he, is he already hanging? Because he looks like alive and standing or something, but I can't see anything below his feet. That's quite handy that you've learned the skill of levitation when you're about to be hung. What the hell is going on there? Or is it, This could be a bit behind the scenes thing by the looks of it, I reckon. What do you reckon? There we go. No, it doesn't say anything about behind the scenes on the back of it. 1994, bloody old cars, basically. Nearly 30 years. Right, uh, yeah, 29, I think, if maths is correct. There's the Ace of Diamonds, look. Right, uh, since Mel Gibson spent several breathtaking minutes just hanging around the set. Yeah, it's a behind the scenes thing, isn't it? Director Richard Donner, shown here, and special effects wizards on Maverick had to devise this special harness to keep him healthy, i.e. stop him from dying. That's actually a pretty cool behind the scenes card. I'm not saying it's cool that he's being hung, but uh, it's a pretty cool card just because it's a behind the scenes thing. There we go. The big old sunglasses on which uh, mate on the front of the pack could have done because he was playing poker, I reckon. Right, there he is again. Look, there's Mel, look. Wearing the same stuff from this one, I reckon. Looks like it. All buttoned up, though. So open open for a bit more casualness later, are you, Mel? Uh, yeah, it's a nice profile card. I don't really know what else to say about it. He's a actor. Mel <laughs> Everything seems to have Mel in it. There we go. Uh, do you know, I'm not going to read this one out, but uh, if you wish to pause this and read this, you can. There we go. Please read card number 42. That's a funny word, isn't it? Right, uh, we're going to try and pronounce it. Gallipoli. I think that was a good effort. Yeah, that's all right. Um, right, so what we've got here... Open hands, 
Come on. Is that what he's saying? Wearing a nice, neat, worn, secure hat. Is that me or is that somebody else? Because he's had a bit of a suit change from, from the first card. If it is him. I kind of feel like I need to see this film now, but I'm not a big fan of westerns. It looks like it's a western, which suggests it's a western. Oh, cool. God, there's about a fight about a break out there. All securely worn hats all around. Look, these fellas here are also here. God knows what's going on there. Back of the cards will tell us if we can be asked to read it, which I can't. So there we go. So we do the poker game. I read the word poker's championship there. Among the strangers in the crowd is a very familiar face. It's Annabelle, not the scary doll from the movies, no. That would be something, in it, in the Wild Wild West, if a horror doll turns up. There, there, there's a there's a crossover film that needs to be made. Maverick versus Annabelle. Who would win? He'd just shoot her, surely. But she can't die. She's paranormal. Right, anyway, we've got a proper tangent here. Not quite sure what's going on there. Man with grey ponytail upsets man with grey moustache. It's, uh, yeah, there we go. I, I know exactly what's going on there. As the hours go by, the Commodore's boat, the number of players is decreasing at a rate equal to... That of the tempest increasing with with Coop in charge. Nothing gets out of hand. I'm guessing his surname might be Cooper. That's all I'm guessing. There he's been called Coop with a very unimaginative nickname. Right. Yeah, they're having a game of poker. Yeah, it's, just, it's just kind of a scene for a movie. Nothing really special going on there. Got an Indian involved now. It's proper Western, isn't it? Cowboys and Indians. Man in... I was going to say red sweater, but it's not. It's more of a jacket, isn't it? What's going on there? In spite of what everyone else believes, the warrior Joseph is a long-time friend of Maverick and pretending to be angry. Maverick continues the charade by joining the war party for a pleasant visit. Well, a pleasant visit? It's gun pointing at someone. Hardly pleasant, is it? There we go. Cowboys and Indians. Cliché. Maverick. Right, uh... There we go, Maverick's got a gun now and he's pointing. Right, so, what is it? people pointing guns all over the show. What's going on here? What's going on here? Is he angry because they start the fire without him? I don't know. And they ate, ate all the marshmallows. You wanted toasted marshmallows, didn't you, Maverick? And there's Maverick's aiming a gun. That's a bit of an action shot going on there. What's going on here first? With six to one odds, even, even Maverick's draw is not quick enough. When the whistle doesn't bring Coop to the rescue, things are not looking good. Well, I'll say, yeah, but it's a six to one odds. And they've all got guns, and yeah, you're pretty screwed, aren't you, Maverick? But that's a that's a cool action shot. It looks like he's shot. To, I don't know, whoever in the back. For for a moment, I thought it was doing like a wedding dress because it was white and flaily. But uh, not with that hat. It's got to be a man in some sort of weird-looking long coat. Right, what we've got here? Oh, that was the one where the the answer to the question was immediately ruined because you know at least put it upside down down here. Give us half a chance of doing that. Um, oh, is that something about Annabelle in it? That was right. Annabelle Branson mentioned that she's from Providence, Southern City. Is that Annabelle? And maybe it is a woman wearing a man's hat. Don't know. Oh, do you know what? I couldn't quite see that stuff in the middle. There's people there. It's a bit faded, so I couldn't really see it. Anyway, favourite card from the pack. We're moving on from that. Favourite card from the pack. I'm actually going to pick this scene here, not because the guy's been hung. I just think it's cool that we're seeing this scene here with with this below. I mean, there's obviously no green screen in those eight in 1994, surely. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. I doubt green screen's an, uh, a, a very modern thing. Could have had green screen 30 years ago. I reckon so. Who knows? But that's a cool shot. I like that. I like that behind the scenes shot. I don't like the fact that man's being hung. Uh, but uh, I do like the action shot from behind the scenes. So we'll give it that. Um, we'll uh, put these in the what the hell am I going to do with Pa? Right over here. Just out of shot. Right. Pack two. Let's go in. Let's go in. What have we got? Oh, that's paper. That's that's going to be stickers. And they are back to front. And they are Warhammer 40,000. Warriors of the Emperor with a with a very hench mecha suit guy on the front. I know nothing about Warhammer here, so yeah, I'm diving into something I don't really know. Show your loyalty. Yeah, I just said I don't know anything about it. Now I need to show my loyalty to them. Apparently, collect them all. No official licensed product Warhammer. All oh, right, Panini, well done. You got the license of Warhammer to make stickers. Uh, yes, yeah, just a very hench dude on the front. Uh, I don't know. It looks like I reckon the Master Chief could take you down. Right, uh, let's open these stickers and try and work out what Warhammer is. Oh, shiny! Look at that. Don't think you're just gonna win because you're shiny. But we do, we, you know, moth to flame shiny sticker. Oh, that is really cool. Actually, I do like that. I do actually like that. Without knowing what Warhammer is, I still do like that. It's like a it's a praying statue. What sticker number is that? Because that matters. 156. There's quite a few of these to collect. I really like the imagery. 
not even just because it's on the sh on the shiny thing kind of does elevate it a little bit i suppose but i do like the imagery and i know nothing about warhammer that's pretty cool kind of make a a, a a good tattoo i would say potentially especially if you're a warhammer fan i'm not but i like a lot but i like it if i mentioned i like this what the hell is going on here Oh, that's I thought there's two dudes. Was that a shoulder? Is that two dudes? Is that is they're getting a bit friendly and close. It's like a mirror mirror on the wall as well. Really bizarre goings on there. Uh, let's move on from that. And uh, this dude has got a big sword. He's he's he likes his big sword by the look of it because he's kind of encapsulated by it. That's a big word for me. That's oh, a two part sticker as well. Two part sticker as well. Even though he's been cut off at the waist. But uh, in a big doorway. I don't know why that's relevant. But there we go. And I don't know why the fact looking at number 53 is relevant. There's going to be nothing on the back. These these are stickers. Uh, top left hand corner of what looks like a scene from Robot Wars Armageddon version. That's all I can really say about that. And this is a card. So you get uh, you get stickers and a card. That's a nice artsy card. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Dude pointing at him and these people down here to shoot that way. He's first to react to the demands. Well done, fella. And what have we got on the back? Lord Castellan Creed. Is that pronounced correctly? Castellan? Castellan? There we go. Lord Castellan. Oh, God. What's that word? Ursica E. Creed. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't be able to read all that. But uh, I hope this is long enough here for you to pause and read should you so desire. Look at that logo. Isn't that cool? This is card C15. There we go. I think the clear winner is going to be this foil. I don't need to really need to mess about too much. And we'll pop that straight into the wall and crack on with, with pack three as we put these into the... God knows what the hell am I going to do with par boost, by the way, after, what, three seasons? Yeah, I've got a hell of a pile. It's going to have to turn into what the hell am I going to do with shoebox. Right, anyway, pack three. Let's crack on with pack three. Uh, these aren't paper, so these aren't stickers. These are upside down, and they are Popeye trading cards. Yes, we've had some of these before in an old season. Collect all 100 cards. Remember, they're very nice art style. They have been in the past. Only six cards per pack. Look for randomly inserted character foil, evolution chrome, and Popeye power cells card sets uh yep never got those last time It'd be nice to get one of those this time hopefully odds of finding there we go odds of finding character four cards are probably one in nine packs evolution chrome cars approximately one in 36 packs popeye power cell cars approximately one in 360 packs wouldn't it be cool to get a power cell card that would be very nice odds of, no, 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 please don't sue us right there's a barcode and uh there we go they were uh uh, made in, sold in New York, printed in the USA. That's the address of the place that made it. And they were shipped out to the UK once upon a time. Special Popeye four cards exclusive available through this offer. All oh, right, okay. All right, you can get the four cards by sending packs away, but I'm guessing that offer will have long expired. Right, let's get the scissors back out. Let's cut these bad boys open. And let's have a look and see if this is going to win the episode. It's got some good competition at the moment. Right, here we go. King Blozo and a lot of blue on the back of that card there that's looking at us. Oh, here we go. Yeah, again, look, good art style. Ahoy, Olive, aren't you going to ask me why I invited you over? Sort of guessed. Oh, well, glad. <laughs> look at that. You know, there could be some lewd intentions from Popeye, couldn't it? But no, it's just a lot of water on the floor because, yes, Olive has a leak and she's got very wet. Yeah. Yeah, intended very rude puns. Right, behind that, there we go. But, uh, yeah, that's all right. Again, nice art style, as is... Oh, oh hang on a minute, we're all over the place here. Yeah, nice art style, as is that. But uh, I'm guessing that's from a very long time ago, if it's all one colour. All very purple, isn't it? Oh, excuse me, Popeye, I imagine you were my lover. Blow me down. Oh, dear, there are all, all sorts of rude intentions and, uh, yeah, puns possible here she's giving him a, look literally giving him a smacker there we go popeye's first kiss and it probably hurt by the looks of it look at that it looks like she's head butted him but just happens to have a tongue out christ woman uh oh that's a nice scene isn't it there you go. he's angry but she's happy and in love it's probably because you've just absolutely head butted him while trying to kiss him for the first time you had a kiss it's probably put him off them for life and there he is he's just trying to steer the ship and there's you getting in the way wanted some some good times right there's granny we had some. Oh, I was gonna say we had these before. We had two of them in the pack, and do you know what I think? It's show all three of these together. Show all three of these together. We have got there's Granny, there's George W. Gizil, and there's King Blozo. And I'm guessing they probably all have character talk on the back. Character description. There we go. Explanation on the back about them. And if I hold them all up one by one, if you wish to pause and read them, you hopefully can. And there's King Blozo. Look at that. That's card 21. Oh, look, it's in life rings. Isn't that nice? Are they all in life rings? Yes, they are. Are they all in life rings? Yes, they 
Uh, yes, I don't know why that's important, but I just thought it. All nice art style. You'd have to pick a favourite out of these. Probably George W. Giesel, because he's probably uh, showing a lot more animation, even though Granny's trying to cook and she's spilling stuff because she ain't fucking looking, are you, Granny? Have a look and you won't spill shit, basically. There we go. Out of those three, is probably George Giesel for me. You can disagree with me in the comments below if you wish on that. Out of the whole pack, uh, I don't like the old one so much. Nothing against it, but this one looks better than the older one. So we're out of these three out of this pack. I mean, that's a nice shot, but it's probably out. Do you know, we're going to give it to George. We like these art cards. We're going to give it to George. So I'm going to pop George into the wall there. And there are your three winners from each pack. So we have champions from packs. Now it's time to pick a champion of the episode to put forward a champion champions at the end of the year. There's, there's, there's the path of the what the hell am I going to do with Paul? And out of these three, all nice cards actually. All bit of a much of a muchness. I don't think there's a lot between them. Who's your choice? Check in the comments section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me. Well, once I tell you what I've picked, uh, you can just give me any packs, by the way. Do do say so in the comment section below as well. So if you don't think it should have been George and somebody else, or or not not uh, this behind the scenes uh, shot from the film Maverick. Out of three of them, I oh, do you know what? I do like again. I do like those, and I was probably wrong not to pick that style of card last time we had Popeye. But I really do like this. I really do like this. So. I'm going to give it to this. There's a lot of personal preference involved in that. A lot of personal preference involved in that. I just, I, I don't know Warhammer, but I just like that imagery. I think it looks very cool. And probably the shininess, even though shiny doesn't guarantee them to win, probably does help them a little bit. So that's going to be my, my winner for episode seven of three round of packs. As I said, just before I picked my favorite, I kind of bought myself a little time there. Comment section below. If you do disagree with me, as I say, this is season three, episode seven. Of three random packs. So if you have enjoyed this and never seen the episode before, there's a whole lot that you can that you can binge watch if you should so please. But if you do enjoy this episode and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. If you haven't enjoyed this episode, hitting the thumbs up would be awesome. I'd love you for it if you did hit a thumbs up. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, please do take care.